offer up and let go two entities that can assist you in this right here. Hey Ross, where my money makes money, sell your junk. You have a lot of junk. Now in my neighborhood, both of my cars fit in my garage. And some of you was like, wow, how, how are you doing that? Cause I got rid of my damn junk. Every year my wife and I give away stuff we don't need. We go through stuff. We like, we're gonna give that to Walmart and get that tax form back for tax deduction or we sell it on offer up and let go. Okay, let it go. Offer it up. Okay, this is not a promotional video for these two apps. I'm not getting paid by them and I'm not a spokesperson. You know my disclosures when it comes to this. I'm just trying to give you the keys to the kingdom. I'm trying to give you the tricks and tips to help you in your financial walk. Listen to me, people. When I ride past your house or I ride past your condo, or right past your apartment, you are renting one of those little garages or storage unit. And when you lift it up, I see a bunch of bull crap. I see a bunch of bull crap. You have both of your cars outside because you have a bunch of bull crap that you absolutely don't use. Don't lie to me. Don't lie to me. You know why? It's in your garage. It's not in your house. It's not on your second floor, it's not in the den, it's not on the patio, it's not on the porch, it's not in the yard. You are not using this junk, okay? And if you do use it, you're probably only using it once a year. Put that crap on offer up. Put that crap on let it go. Take that money or do a garage sale, okay? Or do a lawn sale and sell it. Take that money, put it in your kid's future. Take that money, take a vacation. Take that money, invest that money. Take that money and save that money. Take that money and start a small business or a big business. I don't care what you do with the freaking money, but listen, you have all that money in your garage. You have all that money in your storage unit. You have all that money in your house somewhere all these things you don't use. Now, granted, I'm not talking about taking pictures off the wall. I love pictures, I love art. Anything that you're decorating your house with, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about all that trash you have in your garage. All that trash that you have sitting in your backyard. All that trash you have up in your attic. Come on, people. Listen to what I'm saying here. You know, you're sitting right there, you like, it is a lot of stuff I gotta get rid of though. Well, why are you sitting here? Get off your freaking ass and go clean it out. Winter's coming, okay? And this has nothing to do with Game of Thrones. <laughs> Winter's coming and why is it still sitting there? This is the perfect time where it warms up around noon on a Saturday and sell that freaking crap. Now granted, Somebody else's crap, somebody else's junk, we all know and another man's and woman treasure. So sell your treasure, sell your junk, offer it up and let it go. You, have, you are sitting on virtually a gold mine. This channel is about my money makes money. But when you have capital, okay? And what I mean by that is when you have equity, what I mean by that is when you have assets, meaning all of those things in your garage, all of those things in your storage units, all those things in your backyard, all those things in your attic are assets. Offer them up and let them go for a price, a nominal price, okay? Or get a huge tax deduction from them. Get something back from what you put your money into and use it for whatever reason, but hopefully it's a good reason. I tell you, take a trip. That's a good reason. It helps to, to you know, increase stress. And you got kids that you're gonna leave at home that could increase your stress because now you gotta worry about them while you're on vacation. Another story. But the point I'm making is this, do something profitable with it, either for your body or for your bank account. Now let's get it right, people, okay? so. This is Raw's World, where we're going to continue to keep pushing. And right after this video, 
I need some of you, 1%, I don't care. Go clean out your goddamn garage and park your cars in there because when those kids out in your neighborhood come egg your car, I told you so. I'm out.